Hey, what's up everybody? As you guys know, I have a bunch of watches, although I stopped wearing them ever since I got my Pebble. But last night I was organizing some of my stuff and I noticed that a bunch of them, their, the batteries have run out. So I'm here at my usual watch repair, watch battery replacement stall. And let's watch the guy replace them. He's pretty good. This is me handing my watches over. After he finds the appropriate battery, he starts with my favorite watch of the set, which is my Timex Expedition Field Watch. I've brought it to so many random places and it's still alive and kicking, although the face is slightly scratched now. The actual replacement takes only a second or two and usually cleans it with a blower before closing the back of the case again. Then he sets the watch to the right time. The next watch he works on is a watch I got from Toys R Us in Taiwan back in 1996 or 1997. It's 20 years old now and still alive, although I had to get the fall leather strap cut out because it had become brittle. I replaced it with a multicolored NATO strap two years ago to match its face. The spring bars are kind of really stiff now, so while I was the one who took out the NATO strap earlier before heading to the stall, I asked him to put it back for me because it's hard to thread through. It's easier and faster for him because he has a spring bar removal tool. The next watch is a cheap late 1990s Seiko Quartz. It's not one of the mid-range models Seiko is popular for, like the Divers or the Sports 5 series. He opened up the clasp of the bracelet strap to access the case's back. After using the blower a few times on it, you can see him take the watch mechanism out of the case. He sprays the case a few more times before putting the watch back in. Then he pours some water into a bottle cap and dips a brush in it and brushes the back side of the case back before closing the case. He removed the crown earlier when he removed the watch from its case. So now you're seeing him put it back in. Then he winds it and sets the right time. Next watch is a novelty watch from the early 2000s. There is no second hand but the don't worry be happy face rotates around and round. In this clip, you can see how smooth he is. He gets the battery out with a pair of tweezers and in the same movement, drops it into the watch. The last one is another novelty timepiece. I got this one for free from a subscription to Time Magazine. There are two phases using separate batteries. You can set one to your home time and one to a different time zone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please visit my website and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Till next time.